What do you remember from the 1980s? Big hair, flashy apparel, loud guitars, and loud vocals. Yeah, me too, exactly. It's downright difficult to think of the 80s and not think of the classic rock bands and the loud artists that made them so memorable. There's no denying that some 80s hair bands were just the best, and era to rock hard and rock loud. And these rock and rollers gave us some major hits too. Whether or not you were a true fan of classic rock, you will certainly recognize these rock gods of the 1980s. But what have they been up to? What are they up to today? It's hard to believe that the 1980s was over 30 years ago. So today, let's buy one more ticket to see the 80s gods of hair, glam, and metal. Most of them have given up on music and are dealing with health issues, but there are some that continue to rock. W.H. Stratton here, and today we're gonna find out what some of the biggest names and the brightest of decades are doing these days, so be ready to be surprised by how your favorite rock star looks today. If you dig the video, click the thumbs up icon to show us some support, and subscribe to the channel for more. Click the bell if you want to experience this nostalgia with us again. But now it's time for us to plug in and find out once and for all. What, what happened? happened? Vince Neil. Let's begin the list with Motley Crue's lead vocalist, Vince Neil. Just one more night and I'm coming on this The rock star celebrated his 61st birthday on February 8th, 2022. And we all know him from his various smash hits like Girls, 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 Girls. and Dr. Feel Good. There are only a few pop singers who enjoyed the rock and roll lifestyle more than Vince Neil, and that is also debatable. But this lifestyle proved a little too much for him when he was booted from the band in 1992 for excessive drinking and partying. Booted from Motley Crue for partying too hard? Never thought I'd see the day. However, he did reunite with his boys in the end. Though the same long hair, you can hardly tell if it's the same Vince. Time has changed a lot. After gaining a ton of fame, Vince moved to reality shows. 75% voted me out which also were very successful. In 1995, he was struck with tragedy. Neil lost his four-year-old daughter Skylar to cancer and co-founded the Skylar Neil Memorial Fund in her honor. For months and months and months, I really just tried to kill myself. As well as releasing the solo song, Skylar's Song. In 2010, the father of three got separated from his fourth wife, and that same year he went to jail for a DUI. In the head-on crash of his car in December of 1984. And served his early 10 days of 2011 there. But things began to settle after that. From 2014 to 2015, Vince, along with the other boys of Motley Crue, embarked on their final tour. But it was not their final tour. Because recently in 2021, the band decided to co-headline the stadium tour with Def Leppard, calling upon Poison and Joan Jett and the Blackhearts to guest star. Though the pop singer and songwriter says his voice is gone, people still like to hear his hits on repeat. Eddie Van Halen Eddie is regarded as one of the all-time greatest guitar players in rock and roll history. He was well known for popularizing the tapping guitar solo technique and co-founded the band Van Halen with his brother drummer Alex. Their top hits were Jump and Hot for Teacher. And Running With The Devil and Dance The Night Away still find their way into our playlists. In 2012, Van Halen released their 12th studio album after a hiatus of 14 years. And in 2015, the band decided to embark on what would be their final tour, visiting 39 cities across North America in support of their Tokyo Live album. The rock star was married to one day at a time actress Valerie Bertinelli for 26 years before divorcing in 2006. She is the mother of his only child, Wolfgang, who followed dad's footsteps and even played bass alongside Pops for over a decade in the 2000s version of Van Halen. 
For many years, Eddie struggled with alcohol and drug abuse, and that was also the cause of the split between him and his wife in 2001. Their divorce would follow after four years of separation. A year later, the guitarist battled tongue cancer for the first time. To prevent his tumor from metastasizing, they had resected one third of his tongue. But it was all in vain. Years later, the cancer returned. At the end of 2017, he was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. The doctors telling him he had about 6 weeks to live. But he went to Germany and got 3 more years of life, before sadly passing away in 2020 at the age of 65. Steve Perry Known by the nickname The Voice, which was given to him by John Bon Jovi, Steve Perry screamed lead vocals for nine of Journey's 14 studio albums, and also co-wrote one of the most famed rock anthems of all time, Don't Stop Believin'. Born and raised right here in Houston. He parted ways with Journey for good in the 90s, and enjoyed a low-key lifestyle for quite a while. He shifted from spooky looks to decent and simple. Short hair, belt, and tie, he was hardly comparable to his old self. In 2012, this rock star lost his girlfriend Kelly Nash to cancer. And so, once again in 2014, the rock star decided to hit the stage after about 20 years of living a common man's life. In 2017, he was invited to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Journey. I was looking to get a record deal trying my very best. It was tough to get signed at those times. Gave an acceptance speech, but also politely declined to perform with the band. But this was not the end for the ever popular star. In 2018, he released his third studio album, Traces. His first solo release after nearly 25 years. He also released an acoustic version of the album in December of 2020. And the journeyman might be coming back in 2022 for his fans and we cannot wait. Mick Jagger, the lead singer of one of the most legendary bands of all time, the Rolling Stones. You can't always get what you want. Mick has supplanted himself in the best frontman list of all time, with a career spanning over six decades. And though we know he rocked hard in the 60s and 70s too, some of their 80s hits like Start Me Up and Waiting on a Friend are some of the best tunes of the decade. And this rock star turned actor continued to work with his mates and is still touring today. In 2019, the 75 year old singer excited his fans, skipping and dancing with the band in their opening show in the US just three months after having a heart valve replacement. And currently, he has been very busy with tours, albums, and movies. So, yes, we still count him among the very few 80s rock gods that are still performing today. D. Snyder. In early 1976, Snyder joined Twisted Sister and became the band's sole songwriter. Some of their hits include We're Not Gonna Take It and I Wanna Rock. And both of those songs rock. To emphasize the Twisted Sister image, Snyder adopted a trademark persona of metal-inspired drag with long blonde curly hair, a ton of eyeshadow, a beauty mark, and bright red lipstick. In 1985, Snyder was involved in a legendary Senate hearing instigated by the Parents Music Resource Center. And how many times this can amount to little more than character assassination? The PMRC proposed a system involving letters to identify the types of objectionable content to be found in each album. And though the system was never implemented, the hearing led to the music industry adopting what is now the generic parental advisory explicit content label. In his personal life, Snyder has been married to his wife, Suzette, a costume designer since 1981, and they have four kids together. Today, Dee is 67 years old and still making music. In June of 2021, he released a new solo album, Leave a Scar, which shows us that this aging rock star still has it. 
Though our stars have changed their appearance over the years, their voices take us right back to a louder, brighter decade for sure. Most people who lived through the 80s still praise these stars not only for their music, but provoking a passion in them for music too. So let's talk. Which 80s rock star do you love the most? What song of theirs is the best 80s rock song? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on... What?